In this lesson, you're going to learn how to conjugate a verb in the present active indicative. So, uh, just to sort of get you um, on board, so this is going to be present tense. Present refers to the tense. And in Greek, we can translate the present tense in a number of ways. We can say, I run, simple, or I am running, progressive. And the difference here between these two, I run and I am running, is what we call aspect. Uh, this will be more important as we move on, but know that you can translate uh, the verb to run in, in both the simple way, I run, and the progressive, I am running. Uh, and then the voice is going to be active. Uh, so voice, remember, it can be active, middle, or passive. Active here, so the subject is going to do the action. And then an the indicative, this is the mood. And that refers to uh, the way that the, the, the verb is being viewed. Uh, remember, there are four moods. We'll focus on the indicative in this first semester. Uh, the indicative is the storytelling mood. So to form the present active indicative, we're going to take the present stem, and onto that present stem, we're going to add a series of endings. Uh, the endings are going to tell us who is doing the action. Remember, they're going to tell us the person and number. The stem is going to tell us what they're doing. So we could take, for example, the verb luo, to break, to loosen, to untie. And for the present tense, we're going to use the first principal part. We're going to get the present stem from that. And the present stem is actually this, uh, everything except the omega. The omega is the first person ending. So luo it actually means I am freeing. I am untying. Okay? So we're going to take that stem and we're going to add endings and the endings are going to tell us who is doing the action. So we take our luo and we add the endings o for i. So luo is our stem and the ending. You are freeing, you are untying. Luace, so our stem plus our ending, ace. This tells us U singular. Or Lue. Lu is our stem again, and the ending A. So Luo, Luace, Lue. We are untying. Our stem, Lu, plus Omen. We are freeing. So that Omen tells us that it's a we. Ete, Lu, Ete tells us that it is a U plural and Lu Usin tells us that it is they are freeing. So stem Lu plus Usin. Now you'll notice this Nu is in parentheses. That's because it's called, it's what is called a movable, uh, movable Nu. And by movable new, it means that luusin can be spelled either with or without the new. In Greek, you would never see the actual parentheses there, uh, but the new can be left out, um, especially if it's going to be followed by a word that starts with a consonant. So uh, if the following, if, if luusin were to end the sentence, period, we'd use the new. If it didn't end the sentence and there was another word following, we could leave that new out. Uh, especially if there was a word that started with a consonant. So keep in mind the movable new shows up in a couple other types of words too. So to conjugate a verb, especially if we were to conjugate a verb in the present tense indicative, active indicative, we would take our stem and add the endings. So a full conjugation would be luo, lues, lue, luomen, luete, luusin. Don't worry too much about accents, that'll come in a, another lesson. So let's take a look at one other verb, ago, to lead. So to conjugate it, it's ago, I lead, or I am leading. Ages, you lead. So the ace is telling us that it's you who lead. Age, he leads, or she leads, or it leads. Agomen, we lead. Agate, you lead. And agusin, they lead. So if, say, on a, on a quiz or a, a 
a test or a homework, you were asked to conjugate a verb, and you were given all six principal parts. You would conjugate it in the present tense. You'd go to the first principal part. You'd get the stem from it, and then you'd add these endings. Ago, ages, age, agomen, agate, agusin. And remember to translate any of these. Uh, you can translate it either in the simple tense or in the progressive. For example, I am reading.